This is an ABC 10 News update. Good evening, I'm Kimberly Hunt in the ABC 10 News studio. Both the city and county of San Diego are discussing actions that can be taken to protect access to abortions. Monday, the issue came up and both the city council and the county board of supervisors met. The city formally declared itself a safe city for reproductive freedom. The county supervisors voted for a resolution to encourage the state legislature to amend the state constitution to protect abortion rights. San Diego Unified is meeting Tuesday night to discuss its COVID vaccine mandate. The district is deciding whether to delay requiring all students get the COVID vaccine until after next year. And that would align the district with state policy. Outside the meeting, anti-mandate act activists gathered to protest the possibility that the district could reinstate a mask requirement. Yesterday, SD, USD laid out criteria that would trigger the return of mandatory masking. For the first time during the drought, the state is re restricting water use. Tuesday, state regulators banned watering grass in front of large industrial and commercial buildings. Watering is still allowed at homes and community recreation areas such as parks. All urban water suppliers are also being put in what is being called level two. And in the past, that has led to limiting outdoor watering to certain days and sending out patrols to enforce water restrictions. The Water Authority plans to spell out more details on that soon. Meteorologist Angelica Campos joining us now with the latest on the weather, Angelica. Hi, Kimberly. It's going to be a warmer day for some parts of the county. That includes our mountains, where the temperatures will be well into the 80s, especially in Warner Springs. Inland communities will be right around 81 degrees, and we'll see some patchy fog in the morning, but it should clear nicely. I'll have the rest of the forecast coming up. 